By the time our last week in Montreal had come, winter was settling in. We were down to our last preparations, doing our best to pack everything in one suitcase and two backpacks. And as you can expect, that proved to be difficult. It's amazing how much stuff we accumulated over the course of two years. But we sorted through the mess, selling the last of our furniture and giving away the rest. Our bikes were boxed up and ready for plane travel. Where we go, they go. We had our goodbye party and it was unforgettable. Being surrounded by so many great people, it makes leaving hard. A few days before our move out date, we met with our friend Salim to talk about Hajjit Rabbits for an upcoming podcast. We talked about our trip to Japan, death, time tracking, and what we plan to do with the boat. And then finally, our days were up. On a bright and cold Wednesday morning, we said goodbye to Montreal. And after a six hour long flight, we landed in Vancouver, made our way to our Airbnb, where we reassembled our trusted companions. We left early on Saturday morning for a three hour long trip to Burnaby to Schwartz Bay. Three buses and one ferry later, we met with Andrew, who showed us the first boat. It was large, it had solar panels, a water maker, a heater, but it wasn't in great shape. We would have to pour a lot more money into it, which we couldn't do given our budget. We were especially disappointed because the other boat that we'd planned to visit had been sold that same morning, leaving us with nothing. Andrew was kind enough to take us around the marina to show some of the other boats that he had for sale. We spent a great part of the afternoon walking around the docks and talking about sailing. We talked about our goals, and he made us realize how unrealistic and challenging they were. Our plan was to set sail for San Francisco around March, and after our talk, we made the decision to spend the season here instead. That way, when we buy our boat, we can sail it around the Gulf Islands. It's better to spend time getting to know your boat before even thinking of going on long trips. Overall, it was a great day. Our talks with Andrew were enlightening. We made some tough decisions and visited a lot of different boats including this one. Let's just say we didn't leave completely empty-handed. Keep an eye out for our next video. And as always, thank you for keeping us afloat. Literally. <laughs>